So this video is specifically dedicated to the run game, which uh, the Chiefs were able to stop, or at least to, to slow down a little bit, as you can see from the numbers I'm putting up. And anyway, I want to take a look at how that happened. One thing the Niners are known for is that wide zone that they like to run to set up the entire offense. So if you take a look at here, they're running a the wide zone. Their intent is to get double teams, uh, especially in the middle of the line. But as you can see here, they have everybody's in a one-on-one, -on -one, hat on a hat. Uh, and the Chiefs were doing this all night basically by dropping a linebacker down there on that tight end on the left side of the screen. As a result, you see McCaffrey have to cut back, and you have these D tackles who have great leverage and are able to get off the blocks. And see, there goes the cutoff right there, and is able to get in to make the tackle. Now watch what you do. Watch them watch this linebacker of this uh, Leo uh, Pinal number um, 54. So they got a hat on a hat, five on five. They do get the double team this time. But you have Karloftis cutting off over at the tight end, and you have uh, Mike Pinnell again at that D tackle getting an arm in there and uh, forcing out forcing out the ball. He didn't get the credit for it, but I think he should have. Here they're going to run a counter action to the defensive right. Again, a hat on a hat. Everybody taking a one-on-one. -on -one and watch Mike Pinnell again. This is against Trent Williams, uh, first round, first battle Hall of Famer. And look at him get thrown to the ground like that. Like It, it was Mike Day that day. Really, it was just a constant thing all day where they just took away the outside, hat on hat, and not allowing them to get to the outside and allowing the defense to pursue, and that's really how they were able to stop the effectiveness of the uh, Niners' run game. Just pure gap discipline. And on this play, Jess Sweet with uh, Debo, um, you see everybody's pursuing to the uh, place they're supposed to go instead of falling for the fake on the front side. Um, if you look at the replay, I'm going to go down here to the line. Leo Chanel is going to take on uh, uh, George Kittle here, blocking tight end, one of the best in the game. Uh, is able to contain the play and slow it down so that the defense can pursue uh, Debo. Shanahan frequently ran these outside run plays throughout the game, and there wasn't really any kind of adjustment. And so, like, when we're trying to uh, point fingers and blame stuff for the Super Bowl, I just think coaching all around just, just wasn't good this game. And so, uh, Shannon need to go ahead and look in the mirror before he start, you know, looking at Wilkes or anything because there's some stuff he could have done right too. So anyways, that's all I'm going to say. Yeah, have, have a good one.